Hello, Gallo. What's going on? Not too much. Thank you, as always, for joining. We will go ahead and get started with a question from Christos. We'll come back to Christos. We'll go to Davide. Ciao Danilo, complimenti. Uh, Danilo, what about this team? What about the spirit of this team? How can you guys come back from down 26 on the road and you know win a game as important as this one? Um, I mean, I've done it already and we were down 31. So 26 is better than 31. So uh, you, you, I think that you always can, uh, can do it as long as you believe and everybody believes as being the, you know, the, the main thing since the beginning of the season. Um, and so when you keep, you know, keep believing and keep doing your job, amazing things can happen. Thank you. First, Karshner. Hey, Danilo, when you guys are down, you know, 26 points, what are the conversations like on the bench to keep the confidence up that you guys could end up making a comeback? Uh, just focusing on, on, you know, play by play, uh, we don't need, you know, not needing any miracle shot or any miracle play. You just need to, you know, play, play the right way, play uh, the game the right way, um, and execute the game plan. That's all you can control. And so you got to control what you can control. And that's what, that's what we did. Allison Mastrangelo. We obviously haven't been allowed in a locker room since the pandemic, but can you describe for us just what it was like after that win? I know you still have one more, you know, game to go, but what was it like tonight? Uh, it's always, uh, you know, it's always great when you win. Everybody is uh, very happy, but of course we have a lot of work to do. And so uh, you're happy tonight, enjoy tonight, and tomorrow you need to focus on the next game. Steve Hummer. And, you know, uh, if you could help us out a little bit here of those those of us who have to explain how this happened, what do you think was the, the biggest factor here in turning the tide of this game? Um, I think, you know, our our defense got uh, better in the in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter. Um, and, and our offense, we're playing faster. Uh, that's how we need to play. Um, and, and so I thought that overall offensively and defensively, we just played better. Um, and like I said before, just, you know, we, when you go down in those situations, you just got to stay focused on playing the game the right way. Still, when you're down 20, 20 plus, that's all you, you got to do and play the right way. If you uh, play the right way, I think that, you know, a lot of things can happen in basketball. Uh, I've seen it, uh, I've done it. And so you just got to do that. What role do you think Lou played in, uh, in kind of, uh, get, getting things going right? Uh, huge, uh, huge role. And, you know, that's, that's the loot that, that I know. That's the loot that I play with. Uh, and, and, and that's, that's what he can do. And so I'm, I'm glad that he did it tonight. I'm very happy for, for him. Let's go back to Christos. Hello, Danilo. Congratulations on the win. How, how important for you to stay even kill through the game, even you didn't, you didn't start pretty bad, pretty well on the court. And also, about the game six, is this game the biggest game of the season for you so far as a team? Um, I think, like I said before, we just stayed uh, stayed the course and we played, the, the like I said, the game the right way. Uh, I thought that our defense and offense together were way better in the, in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter. Um, and for, you know, next game is, uh, is, is important. We, we, you know, we we know what, what can happen if we win, especially winning at, at home. Uh, but like I said, they are a very good team. We are a very good team. Uh, it's going to be a, ba a battle. Uh, and we just got to, you know, uh, bring the energy for 48 minutes, knowing that we're playing at home. Um, but we need to stay focused and, and, and still play the right way and execute the game plan. Just a few more from, I believe, Michael Luongo from AP Broadcast. Thank you. Um, Danilo, uh, 
what is it about this team's mental makeup when you take these early shots that they give you and you guys just never get knocked down and never quit and just find a way to get back? And uh, um, what is it about this team's makeup mentally? Uh, I think it's something that, you know, he, he, we built and he, we got better with that, uh, you know, since the beginning of the season, game by game, uh, and especially, you know, keep keep believing and, and following what, what Nate has been preaching since, since he came on. Um, and that belief has to be there. Uh, and that's that's what we do. We saw that during the regular season and in the playoff, believing is, uh, got us, you know, uh, great games and uh, amazing runs. Uh, and so that's that's what we need to do every every time and every minute. It doesn't matter if we up or down in a game. Grazie. Prego. Two more. First from Maria. Hi, Gallo. First of all, congrats for the win. Considering how historically this was, how would you describe that fourth quarter? How would you describe the run that you that your team did tonight? Um, I think you know that the it was it was great to play a fourth quarter like that, um, where we were able to get stops defensively and then score offensively, and still playing playing you know the right way and going where and getting the shots that we wanted to get. Um, and uh, of course, there is you know a lot of things that we need to work on and we, that we can get better uh, with. But I think that when you win a game like that, especially in the fourth quarter with a group like this, uh, it gives you a lot of confidence. Final question from JC. Hey, Gallo. Um, what was the moment in the fourth quarter that you guys feel like, okay, we got this, it's over? And also, do you guys notice any frustration from the Sixers that you guys use that as an advantage? Um, well, I think that even when we started to, uh, you know, get get closer to to them, um, you know, it, it was it was never over. Even when we got up, and that I make that shot, we go up by three. It's never it's never over until it's over. But um, of course, when when you are down like this and you keep, you know getting back in the game and then you see the confidence on our side and the confidence on their side maybe going down a little bit I think that that's when you got to get you got to have that killer uh, instinct and we got the players to do that thank you Gallo thank you guys with a question from Allison Mastrangelo <laughs> 